welcome to another episode of Oral Arts Quick Tips. Today's quick tip is directed at reducing your remakes and repairs due to fractures of your restorations. And we all know how expensive remakes are to you and your practice as well as our laboratory. It's one of the top things that we work on on a continual basis. So the purpose of this video is to help you all and help us as a lab reduce those remakes. So the remakes that we have on our all ceramic restorations are very low. Even though they're low, we're still publishing this episode to try and get them even lower. Some of the stats that we have internally this year to date uh, on several thousand restorations from dentists across the country our Forte crown, which is the, has the highest fracture percentage, uh, is still only 2.8% of all the restorations we make come back fractured, a very low percentage. However, it is the highest due to it being a bilayered material. Second uh, highest is Emax. It's only 1.1% coming back broken or fractured. And then finally, our Element Z, and our Ultra Z, which are our monolithic zirconias, are only 1% coming back broken or fractured. Our Ultra Z is our anterior specific uh, ultra high translucency zirconia. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about how to prep for these restorations. In, in, the, in the beginning, we marketed that uh, posterior monolithic zirconia could be used on feather edge preps, which is true. However, we're, we're trying to reduce the fractures. So, so the purpose of this video is not to say what you can and can't do, it's to say what's best. And uh, specifically when it comes to Emacs or ultra translucent zirconias, manufacturers specifically recommend chamfer margins for those restorations, and I'm gonna show you why. So, in these images, what you will see is actual cases that have come back from our clients that have needed to be remade because of a fracture. And what I want you to notice on this Forte crown, your fracture is at the margin. And these margins are, are feather edge with absolutely zero chamfer. And they're usually um, opposing the, the functioning cusp of the restoration. So I'm assuming that when these doctors are placing these restorations and the patient goes to bite down to check the occlusion, they have a pop at the margin. And uh, this could be mitigated and, and our 1% or 2% could go down to zero if customers uh, would focus on prepping a slight chamfer. You don't have to be aggressive in prepping like you would for an empress, but we still prefer to see a chamfer. Again, we have an Emax restoration that came back broken, and once again, it's on, it's on that uh, lingual where you have a lot of biting forces opposing that cusp, and again, it just fractured on the uh, margin, and it's a, it's a uh, minimal prep, and uh, this is the result. I'm not saying that you can't get away with this. I'm just saying that I don't recommend it. If you're looking for the most durable restoration, this is not the way to prep for them. And then we finish up with our monolithic zirconias. Uh, despite them being strong, they still can break at the margins if you have a feather edge. And the reason uh, one of the reasons that they break at the margin is as a lab, we try and thin those margins down as much as we can so that it's healthy for the tissue and you don't have a ledge. But in doing so, we make that margin very, very thin. The material becomes very thin at the margin and then you, were, then, then you have a weaker material uh, that's more susceptible to breaking. So very quick tip for you all, just to remind you to, to prep a chamfer as as much as you can. I know in some cases you can't get it and that is dentistry, but this is something to keep in mind if you're having an issue with these margins pop upon seating or shortly thereafter. Our laboratory recommends a 1.5 millimeter chamfer margin on your Emax crown restorations. 
around a one millimeter chamfer on Ultra Z, which is our high translucency zirconia for anterior crowns or three unit bridges. And we are recommending around a one millimeter chamfer margin for Element Z high strength zirconia, although the majority of the preps that we see in our lab are feather edge. The effort and goal of this video is to completely eliminate any chances of fracture and therefore we are recommending around a one millimeter chamfer on high strength element Z restorations as well. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and stay tuned for more of these type quick tips. Thank you.